what's going on? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we've got another beer from The Vale Brewing out of Richmond, Virginia. This is going to be, uh, it's kind of hard to read, but you can see it there. It says, We Deadmon. And it's got this uh, Dark Days little face. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's a series or something, maybe. Uh, the can, full on black can with this uh, dark purple label. Um, triple dry hopped, triple IPA, 11%. And I don't. Oh, it says we dead mon, and there's a three beside it. I don't know if that just means it's the triple version or means triple dry hopped or what, but anyway. I think this was canned back in November, maybe. It's very smudged and. Like hard to read, but anyway, I'm excited to get into this one. The Vale is a fantastic, fantastic brewery. They do a really, really good job on probably everything they do. I've had a handful now. We randomly get drops here and there, so I pick them up. Let's go ahead and get this poured. All right, so appearance-wise, yeah, it looks like a hazy IPA, um, completely opaque. It's sort of that very, very light orange color, um, almost a little milky looking. Got about a finger and a half. That's sort of an off-white color, um, small to medium-sized bubbles. Probably get some lacing on this um, and some alcohol legs probably, you know, due to that ABV. But, um, yeah, it looks quite nice in this glass. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Yeah, it smells nice. Um, the aroma is not as explosive as I was thinking it was going to be. And I say that, um, I just want to iterate that it does still smell good. Uh, it's just not, you know, crazy in your face explosive. For whatever reason, I don't know if it's just the color of the label, but I feel like I'm getting some grape in there. Yeah, I mean, it smells like a New England IPA. It's going to have a lot of those same notes. Uh, you know, it's got that um, juicy orange, you know, some some sweet, uh, sweet pineapple. But man, there's a grapiness to it. I, I really feel like there is. It's herbaceous. A little dank. It's got a little bit of a floral, uh, maybe vegetal type of um, aroma to it as well. Yeah, I don't know. It smells really got really good. It's just not insanely explosive. And we have beers like that every now and then, where the you know the nose may be a bit, um, you know, just kind of toned back. Um, then the fl the flavor just delivers on a whole different, um, you know, spectrum or something. So um, I'm ready to dive in. It smells nice. It kind of smells like a New England IPA. It doesn't smell boozy. Uh, it, it just has a, a lot of citrus, pineapple, some earthy, herbaceous, and floral type of notes. So uh, pretty nice um, aroma. Let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. The aroma is on the lighter side, but man, that is packed. Just about knocked everything down. This thing is packed full of flavor. It's got a really nice, uh, big time sweetness to it. Not pastry stout like sweetness, but it's there. You're getting a lot of sweetness from it. It gives you the impression that it's a bigger beer. You know, 11%. I don't think it's drinking boozy, but it's got a little, you know, just a slight bit of heat. And that sweetness, it just, that's the idea that it gives me. If somebody gave me this and I didn't know what it was, I would think this has got to be a bigger beer. So, man, geez, so much citrus and pineapple coming through right just immediately 
Juicy, juicy, juicy. Juicy for days. It's orange zest. It's orange peel. It's orange pith. It's got a little bit of that menthol -y type of thing. It's got some juicy, juicy sweet pineapple. Still getting a nice dank, herbaceous type of note. It's floral. It's got a little bit of like a almost perfumey type of um, floral type of note. Nice soft mouthfeel. Sitting somewhere medium, maybe medium plus. It's got a little bit more carbonation than I um, would have expected. Um, based on the body, but yeah, it's it's doing it for me. I mean, this is a really, really well done beer, very tasty. Uh, I don't know that I would change anything about it, honestly. I mean, if I wanted to nitpick, I would say just bump the aroma up a little bit, but that's a legit like nitpicking type of thing because it tastes great. Um, there's nothing I would really change on the flavor profile. I don't know, man. I, it's tasty. It's really good. It's a great triple IPA. I mean, as for a rating, I would probably sit it, I mean, 4-3, four, 4-4, four, four, somewhere out there. I'd probably go 4-4 four, four on this one. Really killer. So, again, this is We Dead Mon, and this is the triple dry hopped. I don't know if they do another version of it, but triple dry hopped, triple IPA. Um, great stuff. The veil, they continue to impress. I don't think that I would be able to see their stuff on a shelf and not pick it up because that's how good their stuff has been, in my opinion. So, anyway, uh, another review in the books. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and also let me know if you had this beer. Would uh, really like to know what you thought about it. So, I think that covers everything. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.